also admit that I have not seen much of Will Osprey's work, or Omega's for that matter. I was blown away. Like, I, I, I said on the way over here, I was riding with Steven, and uh, I hate to make comparisons because everybody's unique and different in their own way, but Osprey reminds me of a tougher Shawn Michaels. Okay. He just, he's got the look. He's obviously wrestling in terms of his in-ring capabilities are just otherworldly yes. at this point. Yes. But it just, it was, it was like the new school, the very athletic, physical, dynamic, incredibly uh, difficult and high risk type of offense. It had all of that, but it also had Nick Bockwinkle, Vern Gagne-esque psychology. Yes. So the story was there, the psychology was there, the dynamic presentation, the athleticism, the things that people really dig nowadays, that was there you know, in spades. There was more than enough of that for anybody who, who loves that style and that presentation, but it still had great psychology. And, and the pacing and the, and the story, it was so good. I mean, I, I don't know that I've seen anything better in terms of a match. Now, you know, they don't have a, a rock-like popularity with the audience. That audience, they did. Certainly, yes, with that yes. audience, they did. And that's why I don't like comparing. But in terms of the story and the action and the believability, all the things that make me excited to watch a wrestling match, yes. I got overdosed on it. Yeah. It, and I was and I was there for it. It was awesome. 